Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2199, Problem with Two Auto Sum. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. A couple weeks ago, I was down in Atlanta, Georgia for the Gulf South Council meeting of the IMA. A lot of great questions uh, came up in that one, including this one uh, that stumped me. Someone said that they had two columns of auto sum. So these two cells here, press the auto sum button, and that as they were working, uh, they would insert rows, insert rows, insert rows, and then suddenly column two would quit working. Now that was bizarre, like why would that ever happen? But then, uh, you know, as as I was talking through it, you know, I started to replicate what was going on. So we come here, we do Alt I R to insert a row, uh, type the next item, and 100. That 800 changes to 900, that's perfect. 200, 1600 changes to 1800, that's perfect. All right, but then uh, insert another row, and this one has a value, beautiful, the 1,000 changes, but column 2, for whatever reason, has no value at all. And then we insert a new row, all right, see, and that's where the problem comes in. Now column 1 is going to work. I want to enter 123, and the number changes, but over here, because I didn't type anything for Hickama in C11, when I type the value here, 222, bam, it's not working, right? So what we're, uh, what we're running into there is uh, Excel is extending that formula. Uh, if you have three or more cells that the formula is referring to and you insert a fourth cell, uh, they'll extend it, but they only extend it if you add a number. And when we didn't add a number here, oh, well, that causes all sorts of problems. So my suggestion is that we're going to insert a blank row here, and I'm going to change the color of this blank row. This You don't have to change the color of the blank row, but I like to change the color of the blank row. We like go to a, a nice uh, light gray, and then put your total here, right? And this total, when we use the auto sum, is going to include the blank row. Copy that across, uh, and I, this is a, a pro tip here, I even make my uh, format row height like tiny, like maybe three, right? So it just looks like we're just putting you know, a, 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 an accounting underline there almost. Uh, and then you have to make sure to always insert the new rows above the blank row. So iceberg, 111, 222, great. Uh, insert a new row, jicama, spelled wrong, uh, 111, great, nothing. And then insert a new row, kale, 111, 222, Bam, and it keeps working, all right? So if you're going to have those blank cells, uh, just a better overall approach all the time is to include a blank row in your auto sum and then train the people using the spreadsheet to always insert the extra new rows above the blank row and your auto sum will keep going on. Lots of tips like that that are in my new book, Mr. Excel Live, the 54 greatest tips of all time. All right, episode recap. We have two columns of numbers. The auto sum at the bottom of the second column stops working intermittently. Once it breaks, it's broken forever. Uh, it's when you're inserting rows, and uh, we've figured out that it's when you sometimes leave out a number. So the best practice is to always leave a blank row between the auto sum and the numbers, and then insert new rows above that blank row. You can make the uh, blank row a little bit smaller, change the color, it'll actually look like an underline. Now, to download the workbook from today's video, in case you want to work along, visit the URL down there in the YouTube description. And hey, if you want a fun day, uh, check out my upcoming list of seminars. I'll put that link down in the YouTube description as well. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.